Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to pick up where we left off after the first Be A Pro video in NHL 21. So we've created our player, uh, we've gone through the cut, the cut scenes and whatnot pre-Memorial Cup, and we played our first game. So we are going to play out the remainder of the Memorial Cup, see how that goes, and then get all the cut scenes and what happens leading up to the NHL draft. Super excited to see that. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the second episode of Be A Pro here in NHL 21 goal here Sherbrooke's got it against the boards here's an opportunity comes up with the stop and he elects to play the puck they've got numbers sends it over let's go oh, that was a beauty. That's so all right so now we got the lead last round robin game wow insane how quick that was bang bang all right, coach meeting. Ron, we... This has been a pretty good run for them right now. They've piled some goals up quickly, but the coach is reminding them this isn't over yet. He goes right down to his youngest player and gives him a little prod not to take a nap. There's still time left in this game. That's why he's the best in the business, Mr. Ray Ferraro. All right, so this is Ron. Get, put up, we got those quick goals, but we have to keep the pressure on. Here's what I'm getting concerned with. This is the exact same interaction I've had in the other two games, so... While I do enjoy these in-game challenges and the cutscenes are a nice break to actually make it look, you know, somewhat legit. It's just unfortunate. I hope that we see different dialogue as we go on and make it into the NHL and things like that. Let's go! That's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. All right, so we completed our challenge, got the likability and the management the and whatnot, so that's good. Now let's close this one out, and we'll move really on to the Mem Cup Finals. That's the hockey game. Sherbrooke's performance for the first 40 minutes, I liked a lot, Ray, but then the bottom fell out. What happened? Well, this is, I guess, why coaches always talk about a 60-minute game. <laughs> they played 40 yes. minutes, and then they got their shins kicked in. And the tournament rolls on for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you for the next game. Okay, so we get a big line increase. Obviously, big night there. We got six points of five goals. So we gained a bunch of followers for the brand and management as well for completing that challenge. Legacy obviously hasn't really been touched at all, though. Uh, that's kind of to be expected. All right, so the round robin has ended, so we're going to simulate past this. See what happens here now. All right, we've got a meeting with our agent. As promised, with your brand on the rise, I have a nice endorsement opportunity. It's for a cereal box. You interested? We're about to get our own Flutie Flakes. Let's go. So our answers are awesome. I'd love a cereal or star. Hmm, is that the best we could do? How much are they paying us? We'll go team. I love cereal being a box. Is dream come true? That's what I want to hear. You can expect to be on more boxes if your brand keeps up. So we can try and persuade. This is the first time that we've actually had a chance to try and persuade for more uh, rewards and whatnot. The other option is brand like ability plus 500 and money for 9,500. I cannot wait to see the box. We're going to go for persuade, see what happens. And we don't get it. Unfortunately, I already asked. They can't meet that type of demand right now. What kind of cereal can't afford that for the boys? Moving on, all right, we say that's good. So we get uh, some for the brand and some money. Maybe we, now we can go buy that 10-speed bike uh, that was apparently $22,000 here. All right, so we are about to uh, get to the Mem Cup Finals, I believe, as we get our Be A Pro Weekly Performance. Obviously, overall, we did very well. Uh, we dominated the round robin with a ton of points. We have 15 points in three games. As we bring Ray Ferraro back into the show, how are you, sir? All good. Awesome. All good. Uh, you know, we've talked so much about kind of the, the draft rankings. Uh, what do you make of the kids so far here in this tournament? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting time for a kid going into uh, you know into his draft that he now knows is 
just a, a month or so away. I, I think he's played well enough that his draft stock's probably climbed a little bit. It puts himself into into the position to be a higher selection in the draft. I, I would say upper end of the first round is where, where I think I can picture him. Yeah, no, I certainly like the way he's played. You know, a couple of other players we've been keeping close tabs. All right, so that's good to hear. It sounds like we're in the upper part of the first round, obviously with 15 points in three games, not really stunned there. So our agent goes, I've heard nothing but good about you in the draft, or but <clears throat> I've heard it nothing but good about you lately, Ron. Uh, do you want to hear about your draft ranking? Sure, tell me or now nah, I'll know I'll get first overall chill. <laughs> sure, tell me. You're first, congratulations. All right, so we're first in the draft rankings. I don't know if that guarantees his first overall, but we'll see. Uh, neutral is really, that's great, that's fine. Keep it up, Ron, this is your moment. We'll end the conversation. All right, so that's good. We've been battling for that to try and get first overall, and we're almost there. Last thing we need to do is win the Memorial Cup. And go out on a high note. Looks like we've got another conversation here with a reporter. All right, hi, Ron. This is it. You made it to the finals. What can we expect from you this game? Well, consistency is what brought me here, so I guess you'll see more of that tonight. Kind of a boring answer. Some analysts say that you have a lot of potential. Are you interested in proving them right? I'm more interested in helping my team win in the best way I can. We're going all in on the cup here. You know what? Yes, this may be my chance at scoring some points both in-game and with the scouts, so we can go teammate-like ability or brand-like ability. We're going to go brand-like ability here. Tonight will be my time to shine for sure. Um, and the other option is brand like ability and teammate like ability down again. So we'll go with brand here. Tonight will be my night to shine for sure. So the teammate, the boys aren't really all that into me right now, but I figure we're about to go to a new team because we're about to get drafted. So it can't be all bad. Plus, I really want that private island. moment of truth you've won a memorial cup what's the message you're saying in the room oh man well we win it i mean everybody is is so pumped it's like it's the it's the peak of the mountain for a junior player you will never play games as important of, as this at this age and so man they um they'll look to their young players they'll look to the surprisingly to their draft eligible players that really have a chance to make a mark both in this tournament and in their draft status so here we go big game we got you covered all right boys here we go the memorial cup final we're going to take on the Kelowna rockets try and win that memorial cup going into it again you'll see the overall in the top right we're 69 overall nice uh brandon we've actually gotten into that first tier it looks like 265 uh, right there on the meter again all of the menus being right on the screen is really nice teammate like ability took a bit of a hit in that last one management like ability is really high at 625 uh, so we'll see and then if we, you can see the line score we're obviously high in the first line power play second penalty kill extra man we're the extra man and then shootout we are also first in the shootout so let's go let's get into the final memorial cup game let's try and win Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. As we send it down, Rick side to Ray Ferraro. Ray, penalty killing, always a key going into something like this. It is. The, we talked to the visiting coach today. He, in particular, stressed the need to stay out of the box. He wants his team to be aggressive. Take it along the wall. Side Let's go. All right, we got a coaches meeting here. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. So again, we're in control. Don't let your foot off the gas. And again, it's protect the lead or go and score. Um, so again, kind of tough that it's really just those two. So it, it's a nice opportunity to give yourself more like points and whatnot as you're in your Still career obviously every time you play you're going to get more management and teammate like ability if you can to to score every time but kind of a letdown that it's always the same thing there it is big night for us and tournament trying to get that first overall 
It's pretty rare when you play a game and in the middle of the game, the coach gives you a pat and says you're doing a great job. But the rookie has been excellent tonight. James, he got an assignment early. We heard him talking to the coach about it, and he's delivered. Management, he's brand, and likability all get an increase. Bunch tonight. The and we're cruising here in the Mem Cup here, final. Ray. diminish the fact that we've got a team that just won a championship out on the ice right now but man that's got to be awful having to watch that unfold in front of you what a what a run they had they pushed themselves right to the limit just not able to get across the finish line and they'll think about this forever how close they were Two sets of Warriors lining up. These guys pushed each other. Uh, exhausted, tired. At the end of any long frame series, you are gassed. But one team gets to enjoy this line a lot more than the other. This never gets old at any age group, but when this is your living, when this is your life, boy, this has got to be special, getting the trophy. Well, to hoist it up over your head, to have all your teammates celebrate with you, what an amazing feeling it has to be. Oh, I love this. This is just awesome to watch play out here as they pass the trophy around. This actually started as an accident that the trophy was held up for the first time by Ted Lindsay. And then now it's a regular thing. Just think, if that accident hadn't happened, we wouldn't have this great celebration that we see now. Ah, the team photo, man. This is just mugging for the best selfie and camera shot ever. This looks like such a fun place to be. Everybody jumps into the picture. You get it with the championship trophy, and it's something you'll always have. With Ray Ferraro. Okay, beyond just the team performance, how about the kid? Well, the fact that they won and he played uh, a major role in it is going to shine a pretty bright light on him with the with the scouting community. And um, there's always two roads to this tournament. One is the team aspect. The other is those that are evaluating for the draft. And this kid did his draft status a world of good. He was sensational. Uh, that puts a bow on this year. Uh, thanks for this, man. Yeah, I'll talk to you next year. <laughs> Don't miss me too much. I won't. All right, so we have nine points in the Mem Cup final. Absolutely dominate. And we got some trait, some specialty points, so we're going to put those in right now. Uh, we went with cannon shot here earlier on. Boost that to 85. Let's go from some skating as uh, the NHL is going to be a little bit more difficult. So we're going to go power skater, put that trait on. I believe we, have, we actually have four, or we have one more available. Specialty is also available. So uh, speed, agility, or acceleration. We're going to do speed again. So we'll grab that. Now we've got four specialties available as well. So this costs three to unlock for the second slot. We're obviously going to do that. And then uh, we can go ahead and put one in. Uh, back skating. That gives plus three to speed. Yeah, okay then. Let's go. All right, there we go. So that's locked in. So now we're, guys, 70 overall. Things are looking good here for Ron Sleazy. 24 points in four games. Obviously, we absolutely go off. Let's go to the next event here. We've got a press conference. Again, it kind of gets taken away from the fact that we don't actually have a voice here. But again, at least there's some cutscene and some difference instead of just, you know, literally nothing. That's what we used to have. Well, Ron, this is it. You are champions. Congratulations. How does it feel to win the cup? Thanks. It feels amazing. 
Everyone's talking about your amazing performance. Do you agree that you were tonight's MVP? So you can go Diplomatic, which would have been huge because you would have gotten all of that. You can go Star. You can also Charm again. That's if you have those Persuasions. We don't have any of those yet. Probably something I'm going to have to look for. Um, MVP, totally. I knew I was the best on the ice. We're going to go with Team here with Team Like Ability. I don't want to be, uh, you know, hated by the new squadron. So there goes that. So again, those persuasion ones are kind of important early on. So I might, uh, the next uh, upgrade I get, I might go with those persuasion options in the skill tree. All right, Razor, channel your inner bird dog here. What'd you think of the kid as a performance at the Memorial Cup? Liked it a lot. Um, really bullish on the way that he played. He, for a young player, he he took a leadership role. He was playing important minutes uh, through this tournament, and pretty pretty interesting to see how much they leaned on him. Uh, for me, this is a, a kid I would take high in the draft. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one, and the performance certainly backed that up. Thanks for this. So we got another meeting with our agent, and obviously we had a nine-point game in the finals. We were first overall before. Our, our current draft ranking going into the draft is first again, so hopefully we can lock down that final draft spot and go number one overall. So we can choose training for the week. Would you like to set your off-ice training for the week? We'll choose that now. And again, this is a lot like last year. So training, hone your pro's skills. Use training sessions to improve your skills. Your coach will recommend what is most beneficial. Uh, and then there's a limit to the number of training hours per week. So we'll take a look here um, to be completed. Coaches want stick handling. Okay. Coaches want stick handling. We'll go with that for three hours. We've got a lot more remaining for the week. Uh, I would like to do skating as well. Power skating, which does acceleration and speed. So we're going to do that one. We're actually going to do that a couple times because, uh, again, I think that going into the uh, NHL, obviously going to be a big adjustment. So if we can get some better skating, we're in better shape here. So there is the weekly stuff. Again, we can kind of just skip through that. Um, we're going to actually, if this is going to keep going, what we'll do is we'll just auto assign for this. Again, this is simming up to the draft, so I think that there's going to be a lot. All right, so the draft lottery results. The New York Rangers move up to one. Los Angeles, San Jose, Detroit, Ottawa. So, obviously, in this build, it doesn't look like the authentic draft picks have been in there because Ottawa would have the number three pick from San Jose. Uh, but it looks like we might go to the Rangers. Who knows? I would have to uninstall if we go to the LA Kings. But there is a possibility we go to the Sharks. Let's see. You've got to be kidding me. So from what I'm hearing coming out of the Combine this past weekend, the Los Angeles Kings were said to have a very good conversation with the youngster. Now, where does that look like? How does that all evolve in Hollywood and the kid? I mean, is there a fit there? I don't mind it. We'll see how it all plays out because there's a lot of moving parts between now and draft day. But the Kings said to be very high on uh, on the youngster here from what I'm hearing. Okay, still to come here on the show, joined by one of the top drafts. All right, so we have a meeting with the LA Kings. I need to tank this because I do not want to be an LA King. Wrong, I'm GM Trent Morita. I'm going to ask you a few questions to get you know, be know you better. Absolutely. Your teammates invite you out, but you may... <laughs> this sounds sounds like a classic RPG from uh, the mid-2000s. Your teammates invite you out, but you may not have a curfew. You may not have a curfew if you go. Do you go out with them? Persuade. Without a doubt, who am I to say no as long as I could do so responsibly? Not if I have a game tonight, game the next day. I wouldn't want to let my teammates down. We're going to go with the star one here. Without a doubt, who's, who am I to say no? What is your favorite hockey feeling when playing? Knowing I'm the best player on the ice, nothing beats that feeling. I'm trying to be super selfish here. Interesting choice of words. If I talked to your previous coaches, would they recommend you? I can't see any reason they wouldn't praise a player who's on the verge of getting drafted in the NHL. All right, draft interview plus five. Not confident your coach would have positive things to say then, Ron. Thanks for your time. Nope, do not take me. Super toxic. Ron sleeves. He does not want to go to LA. Does clean up nice though. And 
from what I heard over the weekend at the Combine, the kid had a very lengthy interview with the New York Rangers. And think about what the Rangers have done with the youth movement over the last couple of years. Very intriguing scenario for them with the Rangers suddenly into the mix. And could you imagine him in a blue shirt? Ah, oh, original six team. That's uh, not a bad fit right there, in my opinion. Uh, a couple of other scenarios that are kind of playing out in some of the other... All right, so again, I'm trying to tank this meeting by choosing the star. Uh, what do you consider yourself a team player? If I'm being the best player makes you a team player, then I sure am. Thanks for having me. Yeah, all right. I just, I really don't think, so that was a plus four. That was actually a worse interview than the Kings. Again, I'm trying to do as bad as possible here. I do not want to go to the Rangers. If I could fall to the Sharks, that'd be unbelievable, but I doubt it. We'll have to wait and see. I have a feeling with the 24... 24 points in four well, games i'm going number closer one closer to the big draft day and i'll tell you what we look at some of the draft rankings and some of the scouts that i've talked to i think we're all kind of on the same page we've got this kid ranked pretty high and he has put himself in a position to be a very high selection in that first round when we get to draft day keep an eye on him mark my words anybody who passes on him may be regretting this one in a big big way five ten years down the road all right time for a quick break we'll get more all right so this. this is my agent again all right ron this is the big day you've been doing great now you're projected to go first thanks i'm really excited i can't wait for the draft to start i mean if i'm going first i'm going first that's fine i just don't want to go second lafreniere let's peace out buddy ron is the future here we go the next event is the draft where are we gonna go 70 overall let's go all right so we're uninstalling as we somehow land with the la kings even though we absolutely blew up the mem cup Second overall to the Los Angeles Kings. Ugh. All right, literally the worst case scenario for me. I don't want to don the sweater. Yikes. Continuing our conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the show. And, man, it's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called. Uh, it's better than that, James. It's the realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid. He's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Yeah, I've been dreaming about getting drafted in the NHL, all right, and not to the LA Kings. A nice opportunity for management and their prize. Now, the understanding that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but, you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. All right, so another press conference here. Again, I'm really liking those cutscenes. That really adds a lot to the mode. So it's been looking really well done so far. So, Ron, being chosen in the top ten is an honor. What are your thoughts about yourself and the other top picks? Ugh, wait and see I where I deserve to be. Man, I, we're just super toxic. Now we look forward to seeing you in action. Do you expect to get a lot of ice time in the preseason? Yes, I do. I'm valuable in any given moment. Be it preseason or the playoffs, I should always play. Let's go. That big energy for the brand. We need those endorsement deals. opportunity for management and their prized possession the new shiny draft pick to kind of have a chance to sit down and get an understanding of where each other kind of sits what the respective expectations are you know 
It, I know that a lot of fans are wondering, can he make that jump now? Can he make that jump and be an impact player in the National Hockey League? I think management took him for a reason. There might be that opportunity. I think he's going to get that shot. He's going to get every opportunity to try to make the team this coming year. It's ultimately on the player to ultimately deliver on that, right? So we'll wait and see how things play out. But it certainly sounds like both sides feel very good about this fit based on everything that I've been told. All right, time for a quick break. We're coming back. All right, so we're meeting with the GM, L.O. Ron. We met a few weeks ago before the draft. I'm Jalen Wall, well, GM of the Los Angeles Kings. Top 10 selection. And I feel like the GM was named something different. From mom and dad and the family and with it, comes the expectations now too right once this honeymoon period kind of settles down he's going to go to camp and he's going to be a marked man the expectations are high i think there's going to be a hope amongst the fan base that is looking for that sort of something to get excited about there's going to be an expectation for him to try to crack this roster coming up in camp so i like the pick i like the selection i like where he slots in now it's on him to show that he's worth it We'll be back with more of them. So again, we're going the full star route here for the brand. Again, I think the GM was different, but maybe he got fired after the draft. Who knows? So again, we get the off-season training, it looks like. Well, he signed, sealed, and delivered. Yes, the entry-level contract, better known technically as the ELC. Yeah, you know me. Uh, is signed up and now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster management would love to see it And I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it too. All right enjoy it The honeymoon's almost over because it's time to shine and we'll find out in camp. All right, so we All right, signed our deal on the show our conference We signed our deal. We're gonna be playing with the LA Kings Ugh. Another meeting with the agent, it looks like. I do like they throw Ray, um, you know, or sorry, Sabolski in behind to kind of narrate what the conversations are about as a way to kind of get around the fact that these guys aren't talking. I do enjoy that. So there's a game for help happening for charity. Are you in? Of course I'm in. Anything I can do for charity. Everyone likes games for charity, so naturally I'm going to be there. We'll go the team route here. Of course, I mean, anything I can do for charity. Great, Ron. It means a lot to charity. You'll be there. If there's anything else you need from me, let me know. Speaking of charity, a donation is going to help out. I'll ask that. And then sign autographs and take selfies after the game would be great. Uh, we do not have the option to go the other diplomatic route. That's still locked, so the next trait, that's when we've got to do that. As the brand continues to increase... So it does look like there's off-season training pretty much every week. So it's kind of annoying to have to keep doing this. But I said it's automatic just for the off-season uh, to try and get through it for the video. Uh, but it looks like you can manually set it, which would you know go a long way in terms of uh, your, your, your player going into his first season in the NHL. So we did get a trait point, which is big because I want to see the dialogue options and what these cost. So... Um, whoops, we can go Diplomatic or Charm, adds a 5% chance to succeed on Charm Persuasions or Diplomatic Persuasions. We'll go Diplomatic first. And again, those will just uh, allow us to get more stuff out of the conversations that we have throughout, uh, throughout the season and whatnot. I can't believe we didn't go first overall. I'm wondering if it's possible. All right, guys, so there it is. I mean, we can take a look at the salary perks. We've got 19K. It looks like uh, we still can't afford that bike. <laughs> the bike is what we're looking for here because that gives you plus one to speed and plus one strength. That'd be a nice little boost early on. Uh, but again, if you want to see all the salary perks, go back to the previous video, the first one, uh, as I do walk through all of that. Let's take a look at the milestone tracker now as this is now up there. So... Again, this is what I was talking about earlier in the prior video about how they finally give you some recognition for actually doing, you know, getting these accolades. Uh, so obviously Stanley Cup wins, it'll show there, and then the actual trophy. So the Conn Smythe Hart Memorial, Frank J. Selke, Art Ross, and Maurice Richard. 
Uh, and then it says records owned, all-star game selection. So actually getting notified that you, you know, actually made the all-star game is sick. Love that. Hat tricks, conference wins, goals, assists, and points. And obviously that, and then milestone points, those will adjust as you go throughout your career. So again, that's a big thing for them to include in the game that you can actually get recognized for doing stuff, which should have been in the game years ago. But, uh, you know, just a very, very awesome first look. And we haven't even gotten into the biggest part yet. But guys, we're going to have to wait and see what the NHL looks like in Be A Pro. But guys, I'm going to have to stop it there as that's all I'm allowed to show leading up to NHL 21's launch. So if you enjoyed the video, if you were looking for daily NHL content, review of hut cards, tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as it's going to be a big year for all of us. And Be A Pro looks fantastic already. So if you want to see the rest of this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon in NHL 21. Thanks for watching.